have them write a pre-approval letter, or I get them a pre-approval letter. I have them write the cover letter. Um, I tell them that I want them to review the search criteria that we've set up. So I start sending them homes and I say, you know, take a look at them, make sure that the notes I've taken from you today and the search that I put together for you is accurate and I'm not sending you anything you don't like, there's no outliers. Tell me, you know, just kind of confirming that we're on the same page. Um, I tell people to do drive-bys. Um, it saves us time. <laughs> what? Do drive-bys? Not drive-by shootings. <laughs> Drive by viewings. Gosh. We'll take the price. Thug Jen over here. Just thinking about murder all the time. No, so I mean there's a there's a reason to do it. I mean, I, I want to have them out there proactively like looking at homes as well. Most buyers these days will, but sometimes they'll just call you and want to see every single property that comes up in a search. Ain't got no time for that, right? So go drive by. I explain that, you know, sometimes there's things that you just can't see in, in Google Maps or in the street view. You know, there may be a funky uh, odor coming from a neighbor or really loud or no parking in the evenings. So I tell them, I want you to feel comfortable to go out and, um, and check out homes and I explain, look, I'm, I'm ready and willing to show properties to you all the time. That's why I have an assistant and I have a team that I'm a part of, um, but I don't need to be in your hip pocket constantly. You feel free to go out there and I, I include an extra stack of business cards with this package here underneath my assistance card. And I say, look, if you wanna to go to drive-bys or if you wanna to go to open houses, I encourage you to do it. I say a lot of agents are actually insecure and they tell you not to. They want to be with you all the time. I said, I'm not an insecure agent. Just take this card. And if you go to an open house and you get attacked, because you will, just show it to them. And we call it realtor repellent. And they'll leave you alone. They'll let you walk through the home. <laughs> That's another little joke that also, like, people laugh at most of the time. And it, yeah, I mean, you give them a business card and they just say, OK. But also, you can say, by the way, I give you a bunch of these, not only because of that, but I want you to think of me if any of your friends and family are considering making a move so you can pass it on them. We love referrals. And just like start to plant that little seed of referral talk as well at the same time in the very initial consultation. So the drive-bys and then review the purchase agreement. Stapled to this homework assignment is the home buyer process that we've already gone through in the meeting. And, you know, 20 pages of an RPA. So this, this is strategic as well. Um, the main reason I do this is for a couple of things, and I explain this to them the same way. I say, look, there's a couple of reasons I ask you to go through this. I don't expect you to read every single line because look at all this legalese, it's a bunch of fine print. But do me a favor and look at the bold print of each paragraph and let me know if you have any questions. I don't know if anybody ever actually reads this at all, but I tell them to. Um, and I say, there's a couple of reasons I do this. First of all, this is gonna look quite different when it's your name and your money on this form. It's blank right now. So you're gonna think about it a little more seriously when that's the case. And then I go ahead and I star the, the page one of the RPA and I star page three of the RPA. And I say, these are the two the most important pages of this whole package. This is where all the nuts and bolts, the terms and conditions, the price and everything and the money is on here. But I say there's a second reason we want you to at least have seen this before, if not poured over it, is because we use electronic signatures. I want you to feel comfortable signing the offer when the time comes. We're probably gonna to have to act pretty quickly. And I've had people tell me that they can't read the whole thing on their phone or they don't feel comfortable signing it because they haven't had a chance to review it all. I want you to know what it is beforehand. Realize that it's mostly boilerplate. We only change a few things in here and that you'll be good to move forward when it comes time to write an offer. So you're like removing blocks that they didn't even know might be there in the future so that when it comes time, get that offer put together and move forward.